Hey, hey, folks, guess what? Yes, that's right. It's your guy, Adolphus A.D. Moore, here on the corner. Today we got to have an uh, interesting topic. You've heard the uh, topic in the title NIL, Name, Likeness, and Images. But today we going to probably, in, in what I would consider probably uh, an expert in this field, he, he's, been, he's been around a while. He's, a friend. he's been a friend for a long time. And uh, we're going to talk about the topic of name, images, and likeness, and no other than the one, the only, the NFL Executive of the Year, multiple years, Pete Rosell Ward winning, Mr. Tony Wiley. Let me bring him to the stage right now. Put it on. Hey, <laughs> Pete Wiley, what's up? Hey, hey, what's up, AD? What's happening, my man? I'm good, player. How are you? How's the family, man? They're good. They're good. They're good. My son, my son hit a walk off, uh, sacrifice fly to win the game the other day. So he he's pretty excited, man. He's, he's hit over 400 for the season, and he's still recovering from an injured shoulder. So he's he's limited to the DH right now, but he's being effective. Okay, wait, a- excellent, excellent. So how's his prospects, man? What's what's the next level for him? Because I know, I mean, I, I know baseball is is in his vein and i know baseball is in your vein a lot of folks don't realize it you started off wanting to go to the major league baseball before you even got to the nfl it's so the so how, how's this progression just give him a quick rundown on this progression and then we'll jump off into name images sure. and like this he's um he's in the 10th grade he's a sophomore and so he's class of 25 uh, he's about 5'10, 170. He put on a good 12 pounds of solid muscle during the offseason, man. He worked really, really hard. He, he got bigger. He got stronger. He got faster. Unfortunately, he injured his hip, and then he ended up, ended up injuring his shoulder. So he got cleared to swing the bat. His, his, his shoulder's not 100%, but his swing is. So they have him they have him DH in, bat and lead off, and he's providing a lot of energy. I like, I'm, I'm looking at – I'm proud to see that he's emerging as a leader on the team and – and who we have he has a big summer planned. Um, he's gonna be doing major league baseball breakthrough series. And he gets to go to the Hank Aaron Invitational. And he has a couple of you know camps where he gets to get a lot of exposure. The Hank Aaron Invitational AD, he, he goes to Vero Beach and gets um coached by former major leaguers. And if he's selected as one of the 44 at the end of the week, he goes to Atlanta where they play at the Brave Stadium and on MLB Network National TV. Outstanding. Well. Hey, you know what? But it's a long road for you before we get to the big show, man. But I tell you what, this is all this is all the, the building stuff. These are the building blocks that gets these kids to that level. You know, that and, and just not to not to get on stay on this subject too much longer, but the fact of the matter is, you these are the building blocks, you know, because everybody was talking about the dearth of particular black Americans playing baseball. But really, these are the steps that they need to just to get to that next get just to get up to the show, get to the next level. The building blocks they need. It is, but more importantly, man, he has a four point four GPA. Outstanding. Fourteen hundred on his PSAT, so that's going to open up more opportunities. I mean, we have a lot. Of, I told him, I said, you got your list of schools, but quite frankly, the schools choose you. So, right, you know, we, we, we're going to start the process now, and you know, approaching his junior year. So I'm, uh, I'm talking to a lot of dads who've been in the same position because I never knew about recruiting. Mm-hmm. But it's it's, it's going to be pretty cool because you know I'm pr- I'm proud of, of the young man that he's grown into. Hey, outstanding! Hey, let's get to the topic at hand: name, images, and likeness. Now you're the founder, CEO of the collect of the collective en- energy engine. What is that, and and why and why you're describing your company? What is it? What do you do? And how is it connected to name, images, and likeness or NIL as, as sure. your short acronym of it? Well, this week alone, AD, uh, the, the Commonwealth of Virginia is going to allow, they're going to be one of the 34 states that allow high school athletes to, be, to get uh, NIL deals. So guess what? I'm going to sign my son. My son's mm-hmm. going to get an NIL deal as a you know junior senior year because you know you can't allow it texas right now is not it's not it's not allowed to but maryland virginia and and dc i have i have four young people that are um in high school that that get to sign name image likeness deals basically this this is what happened back you know when i was with the rams but in the in the mid 90s ucla won the uh 
national title. Right. When their their star player was named Ed O'Bannon. Perfect segue. Ed Perfect. That's the Ed, Ed O'Bannon. Ed O'Bannon was a, was didn't like that he he you know people were making money off of his name image likeness and filed a lawsuit. That was back in 1995. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, completed until 2021 at what the Supreme the Supreme Court ruled that uh NIL deals can be made for uh for um high school I mean college athletes elite athletes right so so right you know Supreme Court is not too far from where I am and I kept up with this and uh that couple along with Bob McNair Love rest his soul, sending me to Rice University to get my business degree. You remember when I went through that? Yeah, yeah. And, and when I graduated, I said, you know what? At some point, I'm going to own a business. I'm going to start a business. In fact, the reason why I even came to Washington was to eventually start my own firm. And I told I told the person that employed me with the Redskins that that was the reason why I was coming. So they knew, you know, this is no surprise. So then last last year, last summer sat down with my wife and decided to create this company called The Collective Engine. And the reasoning by the name is that collective, we work together as a team, and engine, we work hard. And I started out with, with uh, clients from Houston, you know, Dylan Campbell and Bert Emanuel Jr., people whose parents I've known and who trust me. And we started emerging to uh, Avery Helm and Cam Ward. We have a lot of Houston area guys because People from Houston know me and they respect me and they trust me. So right. that's where we are right now. We're going to start looking at partnering with collectives. We're going to start getting more clients. And this is pretty cool to build a, to build a business. I'm a businessman now. So you get to you get to call you get to call the shots yourself now. No 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 having to go to anybody else. You're the man <laughs> that's calling the shots now. I am, but I have a good I have a great team that's young and, and energetic. And they 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 see the opportunity to really be a part of something and, and have and build it and grow. So it's a pretty exciting time. I appreciate you you you, you uh, mentioned the fact about Ed O'Bannon, yeah. And he you know like I said, nineteen ninety five, and he brought the lawsuit against the NC two A because it was primarily for EA Sports because he looked what he saw you know he saw his likeness on an EA Sports game, and he tried to figure out, hey, wait a minute, this is me, but I'm not benefiting off of it. And so, the, again, you alluded to the Supreme Court decision. And, you know, here's what's ironic about this now. The, you know, I, I saw just, and you probably saw this too, oh, it was a couple of days ago, Angel Reese, the, MV, the MVP of the uh, 2023 NC2A Women's uh, Championship, Basketball Championship, uh, LSU, I just saw her sign a million-dollar NIL mm -hmm. deal. And I'm yeah. going like, whoa. I mean, it's it's that it's it's and and here's the deal and and we can and you can really like I say this is your you know this is your field now. All these kids are not going to benefit. Not all these kids. It's not going to be just everybody's going to make this fantastic money. It's going to be the elite players, the elite athletes on the on the collegiate level, on the what quote unquote amateur level. And I and I, I do that I do that figuratively because. We all understand that the NC two A has been has made billions of dollars off the off of these off of these athletes, but they they couldn't benefit from it. And you know, and, and I remember the it was it the kids what Northwestern kids that threatened a lawsuit. They you know they were going to threaten a lawsuit because they felt like up at uh, this is several years back that they felt like that you know we are employees of the state because they failed in in their pursuit of trying to get the uh, National Labor Relation Board to recognize them. But at this point, the speed forward, th this is where we are today. The NC2A really got caught, you know, and, and they, they drug their feet. And finally, they got they really got snatched into the current day, current day situation where they are now. And this is where you you come in now with your with your with your reputation, with your with your all your skills and everything from a PR perspective. And trying to just hone these young folks in, let them and let them benefit from from the from their hard work and, and sweat. And even like you said, now it's going down to the high school level. What effect do you think this is going to have moving forward? I think um, it's going to force it's going to force young people to be prepared for life. I mean, because AD, like you mentioned, not everyone's going to get the million dollar deals. But my philosophy is 
as long as you're an athlete, I don't care if you're Division One, Two, Three, NAIA. If you're a, if you're a college athlete or high school athlete where it's legal, and you seek to have an NIL, we're gonna try to get one for you. Now uh, we got to manage expectations where everyone's not gonna get the big dollar deals, but five hundred dollars a month or thousand dollars a month that's a lot of money for some college kids Absolutely. and that can really help you. So we're looking to do deals that can help them both on and off, off the field. But in addition to, we provide financial literacy, we provide character and leadership development and social responsibility. So as athletes, you know, people are leaders. And uh, once you get this money, you got to know what to do with it. So we're going to try to help them, you know, develop into, into into outstanding citizens and responsible citizens and you know we're not looking to exploit anybody and just hand them some money and say go with it we want to show them what to do and how to develop so i think i think i don't think it's going anywhere i think it's going to change the whole landscape of, of sports but at the same time it's going to force young folks to really be responsible and that's something i'm really excited about in your in, in your relationships now as you develop this how are you going to be able to navigate this with the particular schools? I mean, uh, and you can correct me. I think then you are then you sign a player already had signed a player at what Hendon Hooker, Hooker from University of Tennessee. Am I right? Or am I, I work right? I work with Hendon. I work with Hendon. He Hendon's Hendon's with another person right now. Okay. But but but, but I do work with Bert Emanuel Jr. I work with I work with Jalen Ford from University of Texas, who's a he was a team captain on defense. Right. I have I have um you know Dylan Campbell, the left field at University of Texas. I have um I have I just signed a young man who just transferred to USC. You know, Madam Emmanuel Pridgen. He's gonna be the he's gonna be the uh, left tackle blocking for for um Caleb, Caleb, Williams. Williams. Caleb yeah. Williams. He's gonna right. go when it's his time, he's definitely going to the next level. He's he's from Africa, his parents are from Africa, and he's like six six, three fifteen. We're gonna we're gonna do a camp. For, we're going to plan on doing a camp for him in Africa. Oh, okay. Uh, what is it for? Is it from what Nigeria? Where is it? Where is it from? The, 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 the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I, hey, so so in other words, the the uh, the, the uh, collective engine is is getting ready to go international. Is what you're saying? You know what we are, and honestly, that my vision is for us to be international. My vision: the next office would be in LA. Where we handle entertainers and influencers and TikTok and fitness. Then we're going to have one in Miami. And then we're going to look to open one up in Brazil for soccer and then Paris, Rome, and London for track and field. So we're going to, we're going to be in a, probably Africa. We're going to, we're going to be an international firm. The vision is to be an international firm. Your, how are you navigating the, all right, your situation now with the universities and not, not, being able to and working with in conjunction with the universities and not trying to get on their wrong side because I mean I can I see that they they can the coaches I mean coaches when they start seeing outside interests outside influences they start thinking that's this distracts the kid from what their primary at least what the coach want the kid their their primary objective is to perform on the field for that particular team how are you navigating that and utilizing your experiences being around uh athletes pretty much all all your life tony since you left tsu how do you how do you maneuver that situation and work in conjunction with the coaches in the school C communication communication it's a case-by-case -case basis on on every every school and every athlete but you know one thing ad we follow the rules we're very above board we're not going to do anything underhanded we you know we're going to be very transparent and and we we deal with the families as well as the uh, athletes, and we make sure every every rules followed. And we also stress that their priority is what they do on the field and and what's in the classroom. We don't want this whole thing to be a distraction where people are wondering, oh, what deal do I have left? Oh, again, it's about trust. It's about trust. So trust is is the anchor with this, and it's essential because we don't want them worried about. What kind of deal I'm getting? That's that's what we that's what we're supposed to do, and if and we also sign people to like non-exclusive deals, meaning they can work with the school and they can also work with us. So because I don't want them to um lose this opportunity while they're a, while they're a co collegiate athlete to help themselves. So to answer your question, one word: it's about communication. Have have you felt any resistance up until this point with you and the company? 
with the in the uh, as far as the intercollegiate athletes, have somebody just? I mean, nothing is going to go absolutely smooth. But how have you been able to? Have you come up against a, a brick wall and, and you just been hard the way to get around? Uh, so far, everything because your name and your reputation speaks for itself. Really, as you as you walk through the door, the latter part. I mean, it's not many not many companies have someone that spent thirty years as an executive and has the you know has the Rolodex that I have. And and I guess you know because of my my experience and my background, you know, it brings credibility. And you know, a lot of people, you know, they trust. I'm signing the young, the young, the uh, captain of the gymnastics team from Fisk, and you know, the fact that I worked in Nashville, I worked in Tennessee, I have yeah. a ton of connections. I know all about the university. I know about the city, and her story is phenomenal. She turned down University of Arkansas to go to Fisk and start their program, and now they're nationally ranked and nationally known. So I'm also going to sign her sister who's at Arkansas and her younger sister who's in high school. So this is about trust and her, her, you know, her mom is trusting me to really look out for her daughters. And that's something I don't take lightly. Hey, like, like I say, your reputation and, and, and I guess here's, here's the thing about it. You know, folks fail to understand what a reputation means. It takes a long time to build. It only takes a quick second to make it a, a, uh, an infrequent, uh, uh, stupid decision, mm -hmm. how you can tear it all down. So, and and I and then you mentioned it earlier, personality, you know, trying to get these kids to understand, you know, doing something off the top of your head, what you think might be cool at the moment, have can have long-term ramifications. And let's face it, you and I both, we, where one time we were sort of those, those young, crazy kids in school. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's been a while ago. <laughs> but you know, but being, making some impromptu, immature decision can have long, far-ranging effects, and and the fact that that you're trying to get in there and work in conjunction, because let's face it, everybody doesn't necessarily come out the same background, the same right. household, right. and so now you becoming, you having to become psychologist, counselor, sociologist, and everything else. So how is your company set to face those particular type of issues? Well couple of things we talked about you know not not only doing nil deals ad but we're also uh we're also doing um you know financial literacy but a big thing right now is the social media we have to teach these young folks how to use social media the, the right way and how you know it affects their brand and how to really build their brand and it's all about branding i mean it's really important right now it, it can it can and not only, you know, on the court or on the field, but off the field is really more importantly how to build it and how to sustain it and what to do and how to be strategic. So those types of things. And that's what excites me about even getting the athletes in high school, because you're going to work with them all throughout high school, then all throughout college as they as they grow and develop into, into responsible young adults. It You know, it's interesting that you mentioned about the, the, the off the field activities, the brand. Define in your in your words. Define what that what does that mean? The brand. I mean, we hear that term thrown around sometimes loosely. In your in your perceptions in working with these folks, how would you define the word brand? What is the brand? The brand is what you how how you dress, how you present yourself. I think it's more or less what people feel, what people say, what people think when they hear that that person's name. You know all the little attributes that that help to describe them and how people feel and you know what people think how they think about it perception wise i mean everything that you can build you can start building it at a young age you know look 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 at the strong brand of derek jeter right when you when you think of derek jeter what do you think about or or even or even serena or tom or tom brady you know or denzel washington you know these people their brands are pretty strong to the point where you have um, brand other brands that want to associate with them and want them to be brand investors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think as 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 we're talking about this, can you imagine if they had NILs doing five slam and jamma with Clyde Jackson and Benny Anders and, <laughs> and the team and Rob Williams? Can you imagine if five slam and jamma had NILs? Uh. No, it's it's hard. It's hard now. It, no, it really you for you to try to put your put your mind around it. I 
I, I know that uh, uh, oh no, Chris Garden and them over you know at the Houston Round Ball Review. Chris being a U of H alum, and I and I know that hey, they love their university, but you know the fact that back then, hey, they would have been you know what if they had an NIL, they would have been a forerunner to the to the Fab Five. They would have yeah. been the forerunner to the Fab yeah. Five, yeah. you know, at, at Michigan yeah. and all them. So, you know, I agree. I'm, not, well, I'm just sort of thinking, I'm thinking that off the top of my head there. Well, well, AD, you know, I love my school too. You know, you cut me yeah. open. I'm bleeding maroon and gray. However, I, I'm proud to say that the quarterback, Andrew Body, is one of my clients. Andrew, quarterback, the quarterback for my TSU Tigers. And I told him when I signed him, I said, this one's personal because right. you, you're the quarterback of my school. So I'm going to do whatever I can to help you. Speaking of that, you know, a lot of folks, I mean, and, and this NIL, I mean, obviously Division One, the Power Five, I mean, it, it the money is, is is pretty much centered at at the Power Five school. Why do you see it going down to Division Two, II, Division Three, or if it's if it will get down there? You know, we mentioned that I mentioned at the top of the broadcast that no, everybody's not going. It's this is this is not a, this is not a uh, a equal a equal uh, presentation mm-hmm. for everybody. Everybody's not going to get rich off this deal. This is only going to be for that collective few. And as is anything else, as far as seem like fame being how fame touches you and so forth. How do you see this? And why do you see this is actually going down to the to the lower level ranks in Division Two and Division Three? Ad, I have a client right now that plays Division Two, and he's done pretty well. I mean, we, we we're on the, the Tamron Hall show. He's been on you know podcasts with millions of people. I mean, he his name is Dennis Collin, and people. May not know his name, but they know his face because he was he was the pop he's the Popeyes kid, the Popeyes mean kid. Okay. In fact, he did a Super Bowl commercial. And and he's a division two player. He's a third string center on his football team, but yet still we're going to the NIL summit in June, where he's nominated to be the breakthrough athlete of the of the year. And he's at a division two school. He's the, I tell him all the time, I say, You're the most, you're the most famous division two athlete probably in uh in history because of of his meme and now he you know, had a deal with Popeyes and every, everyone loves his story. Hmm. I'm trying to remember the, okay hey I I go back I have to go back and google it. Mm-hmm. I, I go back and google it. I mean it's, it in other words that is the only the, the it says these kids oasis is out there for them but it like is. you say if there's a right way to approach this and there's a wrong way to approach this. It is. And but like, let me, but hang on, let me tell you about Dennis though. Dennis is 18 years old. We had a call with Popeyes, and he was like, "Hey, look, I'm from East Orange, New Jersey, and there's a lot of people that are hungry. I want you guys to provide food for my for my, hung, my hungry uh, people in my hometown. And, and if not, I want gift cards that I can give out to the hungry in my hometown." 18 years old, he's already using this platform to make to make his community a lot better. That's what I'm. That's what I'm proud of. Forget what they do on the field. It's using their platform to help their community. And that's someone that I want all my clients to be like. Well, hey, well, you know, the, the thing about it, let me ask, let me, let me, you know, as we get, get down toward the end, and I told you I was only going to hold you here. I mean, because you got, I mean, with, with all your background and with everything you and I both known and grown, grown, that we could sort of do this for hours, going out. But I told, I told you I'm only going to hold you here for about, for another, but, uh, seven minutes to six minutes and 45, six minutes and 47 seconds. Con- let's talk about controversy, controversial topics, and in conjunction with when you're talking about the brand. Because some folks, and, and let, let, let's face it, let's, let's, and I'm, I'll bring up the, to the subject of Michael Jordan. You know, Jordan, at one while, when he was at the, at the zenith, you know, in his playing days, you remember that he made the statement. You know, Republicans buy shoes too. Well, and I and I, we, we understand. You know, and you got a lot of blowback. How are you positioning yourself? Because there are going to be topics. You know, at some point, you know, you would like to say, you know, be well. I don't even think you can be neutral no more in this country. The way we are, we either one side or the other. You know, we can't even make we can't even make a decision to where I want to stand at the same time for the for the playing of the national anthem because we don't have to because right. but you do it because you you respect for. It. But controversial issues in relation to the brand. How do you plan? I mean, that what kind of basis of a, a plan of attack do you have and able to deal with that? This is something I preach to uh, 
the athletes I work with my whole career. There's three topics, AD, that no matter what you say or do, you're never going to win. There's three topics, no matter what happens, no matter what side, no matter what angle, you're going to end up making somebody angry. That is race, religion, and politics. Those three topics right there, no matter what you what what's said, is going to be controversial, and you're never going to win. Right or wrong? Right or wrong, but at a certain point, you have to somebody that you have to take make a decision, and mm -hmm. the question becomes. You know, do you worry about your brand or do you worry about your humanity? And I, I and I guess everybody that's an individual decision. It is, but here's here's what I, here's what I, another part of philosophy that I advise people. I mean, I I'm not trying to be Spike Lee, but you always do the right thing. You're never wrong when you do what's right. And what you feel is right. Right. You're never wrong when you do what's right. And you have to be authentic. If you have something with conviction and you feel it's the right thing to do, then you do it. Hey, that's that's not like a tenant for one of your tenants for your for your company. Oh, by the way, let me let me put this up there. I've been I wanted to add this to the broadcast where folks can. Uh... <laughs> yep, this is this is this is this is this company, folks. This this is the you know I was like you know they was out there looking and all of a sudden I looked at I one like I said T Wiley. Okay, <laughs> now but it, hey, you know what? My man, like I said, I appreciate it, you know, knowing you and knowing I knowing the the road that we've all traveled, you know, the that that road the road we travel. Some has been, you know, it, it can be lonely sometimes. And I know the travels you've had, I know the success that you've had, and the fact that you know, we not I think we talked a couple of weeks ago when we started talking about doing this, man, and just trying trying to get around your schedule. So it's good to find out that the collective engine is is already in the process of being national and international and uh you know so i like i say i'd like to like to have, have this out there as we get ready to wrap up and close close the uh the, the showdown in closing mr wiley anything that you would like to just you know get out there mm -hmm. i uh, i know that uh you know i know that let me ask the question you businessman right now is it in in a few years down the line, could we possibly see you as part of a uh, group buying an NFL franchise? Oh, I'm just, oh, I'm oh, just man. asking, man. I want to, hey, I, I want to be that's billions of dollars. I mean, hey, that's that's in God's hands. I mean, that's that's those those teams aren't cheap now. You can't just and you can't buy them on layaway. This is this. You never know. I mean, it, it's a it's a billion dollar business. But you know what? You know, I ne I never thought coming out of TSU that I would reach. The heights that I reached. So I've been very, very blessed. And you know, I, I can laugh about that at question, but you know, you never know. Whatever God has hands, you never, you never know. But I will say this: looking at your 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 title there, the AD Max Corner, I wish. Can you imagine how proud Max would be? Can yep. you can you imagine seeing him, seeing me start this and launch this? How proud, how 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 bright he would be beaming about this. Yeah, I can, I can. Yeah, I can hear his voice. I I hear his voice a lot of time now. You know that that deep baritone voice, and, you know, and just you you collectively. And like I say, when I when I move forward with this, and you know, with uh, with at the round ball with the platform that they pre pre uh, presented, and the fact that I brought could bring my experience with him with the NFL, and then add to this platform and what we're trying to do. You know, you just you know hope that you know he's proud and, and continue. That's why, I, like I said, that's why he's a part. He's a part of the banner. He's a part of the name because you know we got pictures of all us together, man. Any more RFK? I mean, uh, at, at the stadium, man. That we, the roads we travel together and separately and together. So yeah, you know, it's an honor, I, and I and I and I and I and I don't treat it lightly, man. I treat it with with, with proper respect that. Mm -hmm. To being able to have it part of this name of, uh, of my platform. Well, his daughter and I talk every week. I mean, she recounts, I counsel her. She's working on some things. I'm really proud of the road she's taking. And I've kind of, you know, she's like a niece to me now. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, she, uh, yeah, and uh, Nicole will, she'll be, mm -hmm. will be graduating next weekend. Mm -hmm. Wow. Get, 
we yeah we getting our masters next weekend and she and like i say and i and like i say you'll count you're with her but like i say she's got the spirit of a dad with her and her mom and dad and she's got a spirit with a lot of folks with her that's pushing her and she, and she's aggressive and i know she's gonna go a long way well hey i told you i was gonna keep it down to about 30 30 minutes i got i'm running over i'm gonna let you get out of here in closing final comments from you I just want to say, man, um, I got a lot of good people working with me. We have a strong team that we're very excited. And uh, if anyone that wants uh, interest in NILs, uh, we have a link on our website, collective-engine.com. Go on, read about it, reach out to us, and you know, have any questions, we'll be happy to help you. Yeah, and and as I say at the at the crawl is going across the bottom of the screen. It's got your uh, your Twitter handle down there. It's also got the uh, agency at TCE underscore agency. That's that's the uh, Collective Engines on Twitter. Is uh, is that the only uh, social media site? Or what's the other social Definitely media Definitely not, site? man. Same, same name we have before. We have YouTube. We have Twitter. We have TikTok. We have LinkedIn. We're, 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 we're everywhere. We're everywhere now. Okay. All right. Hey, Tony, uh, again, a uh, continued uh, immense success. Which is and commence success and you know God's speed and blessings that your son continue to bro- progress that him that you and his, and his mother continue to be proud of him and, and my daughter too. my, my daughter's a gymnast don't 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 don't, don't, don't not, not, go, daughter, not gonna discount her because <laughs> she she might be the next Simone Biles coming out there for all we for all we know but uh and like I say as your son continue to be his own self. You know, Sorry. you know, let him, let him as he as he blazes his own trail, and as your daughter blazes his own trail, um, my prayers and blessings for you and your, and your wife as y'all continue to raise them and raise them that y'all are proud of, them, but let them be proud of themselves and what they're trying to do. And as always, man, I I am appreciative. I appreciate. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for jumping on the corner today and uh, being able to let's talk about the NIL and ha- you know let's talk let's talk some true sense into what's going on because like I say. There's a lot of folks out there that's gonna go, don't fall for the okie doke. As, mm-hmm. as the old, don't fall for the okie doke. T. Wiley, I appreciate it, man. Godspeed, God's blessing to you, man. And uh, we'll be talking down the road. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Hey, take care. Thank you too, too. All right, folks. That was the uh, man himself, Mr. Tony Wiley, of the uh, Collective Engine. Tony and I, uh, let me, I, I don't even want to put a, I don't even, we'll probably need date, time, calendar, to, to how long. I am immensely proud of him. I'm proud of the relationship and the friendship I have. But as we get ready to shut it down now, I'm getting ready to got the rest of the Saturday day to, to get, got, got other honeydews and everything else I got to get to. But don't forget, be be on the lookout. We're coming back, you know, we done had a week after the draft and everybody's been able to sit down and, and saturate the draft. So I'm probably going to be putting, I will be putting together a team from across the country, folks in, in respective places to see their name, probably even my guys up in Buffalo, what they thought about their draft. And then by next week, uh, the uh, rookies are supposed to be in, coming in camp for their for their initiation. I mean, not their, their orientation, rather. For the Texans, the free agency, and the rookies will be coming in for their orientation next weekend. So we're looking forward to seeing, hoping we get out there to take a look at that 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 outstanding collective class that they've drafted and the free agency. So we'll be reporting on that. Stay tuned always. If you have not subscribed to the Ad Max Corner, please do so on YouTube. Also on the Houston Round Ball Review. If you have not subscribed, please can subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to both of them. Uh, social media. I'm at the ad underscore more sixty four. Add Max Corner at on on Twitter as well, which is the YouTube channel. So please continue to, and also on Facebook, you you'll catch me on Facebook as well. So continue. Godspeed. Have a good rest of the your Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning on the West Coast. And if you're in Hawaii, and in fact night and day, you probably cross the international date line. Those that might be listening. Continue uh, blessings and everything. And with that, I'm going to say I'm out. Peace, ciao. Be blessed, folks. I'll talk at you on the on the next go round. Take care. <laughs>